Maybe we could just dig into some of the things it does. I mean, are there example use cases that we'll all recognize? Because like you say, with something that's so flexible like this, that, that you could almost use it to do all kinds of things that, and I suppose you're going to get a lot of people doing things that you wouldn't even have imagined yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. One of them is uh, testing, for example. Hmm. So I've um, uh, written one of my own first queue-based uh, table-driven tests uh, recently, and it's, uh, it's really a breeze. It's so easy to write. And actually, I think Rog was the first who pointed it out. It's, uh, it's a very good use case for queue. Uh, and there was recently a blog um, uh, from Yext who was using it also for cross-language uh, test generation. Hmm. That's an unexpected use case where it really came in handy. Mm. I guess, Marcel, one of the good use cases is actually the tutorial that's uh, for Kubernetes that's on the, the Q website itself. Is it worth you just chatting through that one? That's a, that's a good example of where Q sort of it is truly a configuration language. Mm-hmm. 